Welcome to episode 2 from the A10 Mini Basic Series. In today's episode, I will talk about how you can fully utilize the inputs or the HDMI ports on the A10 Mini Pro and Extreme models. For the A10 Mini Pro models, there are 4 HDMI ports and 8 on the Extreme model. These are located at the last row on the bottom left of the console, labeled 1 to 4 or 8 respectively. When a particular port is active, it is lit up in red in color. This means that the port is live and this is what the audience or viewer see. When the button is green in color, it means that the port is in preview mode. This preview mode is useful for taking a sneak peek at your next scene which you want to display to your live stream audience. Well, you have the option to toggle this preview option on or off here. If you don't have the preview mode on, this means that whatever button you press, the live audience will see that input immediately. I strongly recommend that you keep this option on so that you can always prepare yourself to get ready for the next input. The set of six buttons above the individual ports correspond to audio controls over that particular port. The first button, AFV, means audio follows video. This means that the ATEM will pick up and live stream the audio from this particular port. So for example, if you are running a camera into port 1 and you want to take audio from this camera, you press the AFV button and it will pick up audio from the camera. Usually I don't use the audio from the camera because it doesn't sound that good, so I will usually keep that off. The two arrows here are your volume controls, up will increase the volume and down will decrease the volume. The reset button here will return all settings to its original. So for example, if you want to play a video from this port, usually you press the AFV or the ON button. Let me give you an example of how this works. Typically, I have 2 to 3 main cameras for my live stream setup, so they take up ports 1 to 3. And then for my 4th port, I usually hook up a spare laptop for graphics such as PowerPoint slides or videos that I will want to play halfway through my stream. So for example, if the stream goes halfway that I have the speaker saying, okay, now let's take a look at this video to showcase our highlights from last year's event. And then I will switch to port 4, press on, and play the video. Once I'm done, I switch back over to my main cameras. So you must be wondering, 4 ports should be more than enough for a live stream, right? For most part of it, the answer is yes, but I have done many live streams in the past where there are guest speakers coming on. Meaning to say, ports 5 and 6 are connected to two other laptops which are on a Zoom meeting or a Microsoft Teams meeting. Or for example, a panel of speakers. So once the time is scheduled to display this panel of online speakers, we can switch over to port 5 or port 6 to show that particular Zoom meeting. And then when they are done with that meeting, we swap back to the main cameras 1, 2, 3. Also, another very good example is that these ports are extremely good for emergency cases. Real life example. You know, live stream clients and their last minute requests, right? How many of you have got that before? So a couple of times I've got clients who come in at the last minute or even after the live stream has started and said, Hey Steph, I need to play this PowerPoint slide and video when the second guest speaker comes up. Okay, that's pretty last minute, right? So luckily, I myself, I use the A10 Mini Extreme. So I do have extra ports, empty ports to accommodate to this last minute request. So I just connect a HDMI cable from my port 8 or port 7, which are usually free to their laptop and I can carry on my stream with no disruptions to my main laptop which are going to play the slides and graphics. So when it's time to play from that new laptop, I just switch over. So there you have it, a simple tutorial on what are the ports used for on the A10 mini models. 
I hope you found this video useful and if you like any more of such videos, let me know in the comments below what you would like to see me do in the future. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like because that would mean so much to me. And also do check out other useful tutorial videos here. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.